Then after, define control parameter for vehicle. Then assign packaging material to means of transport. Then we need to assign, I will explain you all the steps. Assign packing materials to means of transports which is forward slash n forward slash scwm pm pm underscore mtr which is the means of transport means of transport which is a supply chain warehouse management forward slash pm mtr <coughs> now i will explain you all the implementation steps so as you have seen the structure how i designed the structure of the warehouse with the complex uh, doors different so these are the steps we need to follow i will explain you here one by one so first we will see so first we need to activate yard management in the sap system then we need to define storage type for the yard storage type role is z if we take the storage type role z system will understand okay this storage type is specific for yard and this is nothing but a yard storage type put away role here we perform five define storage section in yard so i follow my power formula storage type storage section contains so first storage type contains storage section then it contains storage bins here i follow the same so the first section is chki which is the checking point gate yard the entrance gate of the yard then chko checkout point for the yard building so suppose this is the yard building here we have checking gate checkout gate checkout parking space and outbound parking space so checkout point this point outside for the yard boundary and suppose this is your warehouse building so parking space for inbound this parking space for outbound okay door one door two in the warehouse we have the inbound door or outbound door so this is door one denotes inbound door door means outbound door then we define the checkpoint see it's checking point these are the checking point two checking point we define then we generate activity area for the yard storage type we need to generate an activity area because we need to perform the activities with the yard then we create the bins in all storage section i will follow my formula storage type contains storage section storage bin then after generating the activity area for the storage type we create the storage section in all the bins so these all gates are nothing but a yard storage type nothing but a one kind of storage type storage section and storage bin so we need to define storage type already we have the yard sections are these bins we define like bin r chk1 010101 okay so chko 010101 cplsi 010101 so each bin i define the name like this in my example so create the bin in all the storage section assign check point with respect to respective corresponding bin supply chain unit and warehouse process type z999 so in my this example i copied from the supervision warehouse process type 999 and i gave the name for the z999 the movement of the products with the transportable unit inside the warehouse building when the truck comes to the yard everything will be passed through the security then it will going to dock to the parking zone or will be going to dock to the warehouse building depends so we segregate this we define through the warehouse process type of the movement of the material here to that 9999 which is the warehouse supervision i copied and i put my name why or z999 depends because it's custom so the net activity area for the yard then create the bins in all storage section we need to create the bin inside the all storage section assign check point with respective corresponding bin supply chain unit and warehouse process type then eighth point define inbound storage type 9030 is standard gate number 9040 outbound outside gate number of the yard this is the inbound side standard gate number warehouse building inbound side gate number is 9010 outbound side 9020 similar we have in yard so i, I define inbound storage type 9030 roll f the storage type this storage type of the yard 
in bond gate roll f system will understand this is roll f okay we have for this type okay roll f put away roll is 4 so put away roll is 4 because truck is going to move we perform the put away activity because we are receiving the material from the customer then after point 9th define outbound storage type 9040 this one or roll f put away roll 4 say okay 9030 is the gate number standard gate number of the yard inbound side entry gate entrance gate outside gate number of the yard boundary is the standard is the 9040 roll f okay same then define storage section in the 9030 because my formula storage type contains storage section and bin so first we need to define storage type which entire yard boundary empty boundary then we define the storage section then we define the storage bins then define warehouse doors dir1 dir this is the warehouse inbound 901 door name is dir1 dir2 okay d sorry dor1 i take do means door outbound okay door inbound okay so then after generate activity area for 90304 when we generate the activity area so whenever we generate the activity area then what happens the the moment will be happen with the warehouse uh, doors so system will understand okay these are the door these are the section these are the type these are the bins and now we can need to move so we need to define the activity area to perform the activities okay then after create the bins inside the storage time 903040 so 9030 door one this one oh sorry okay door two d o door so this door actually physical name i put here door one this physically door name i put here door door two okay for our bond side warehouse contain door one door dir one dor one the warehouse like yard structure also contains the same okay assign warehouse door to the door storage bin and supply chain unit so dir1 this is the dir1 warehouse door one my warehouse number i assign with the bin so bin warehouse and door will be linked together here i am doing the linkage so outbound dori okay this is for dori for my warehouse building inside the yard boundary I am link, doing linkage with my warehouse and door O0010. This is the bin. Then after maintain means of transport, transportable unit. So because truck will come and do the movement at run time, truck will be moved with the product. So we need to perform the uh, we need to maintain the means of transport. What is a transport? We need to tell to system our means of transport is Y truck, Z truck, ZTR. I gave the name. We need to tell to system which truck comes, what is the name of the truck. So in my case, I took to the ZTRK, we can take YTRK, it depends. We will customize to that Z. So define control parameters for vehicles. So we define the control parameters for movement of the truck. In our case, vehicle. Then assign packaging material to the means of transport. T code is the forward slash and forward slash. PM underscore NTR. Why we need to? I will explain you assign packaging material to means of transport. T code is SWM PM underscore MTR. Suppose this is a container. It contains 50 handling units. One container contains 50 handling units. These containers directly will not become transportable unit. These container in in that state these containers are nothing but a packaging material when we put this container on truck on wheels then entire object becomes transportable unit so that particular material inside the container we need to link with the transportable unit we will explain you here so suppose This is the container, normal container. It has material, different handling units. When we put this, con this is in, in the, that current state. I will do a little zoom. So in that current state, this container 
this container in that current state this container nothing but a packaging material because we pack material in one metal container simple when we put this container on top of the truck means on top on the vehicle suppose this is a truck then this entire object becomes transportable unit or means of transport so we need to linkage this material with this transportable unit means truck we need to linkage we need to join both that's why i did in the last year point assign packaging material also to the means of transport power selection scwm pm and tr is a transaction code then then after i will perform the testing activity then we perform the testing activity okay so i will give you the theoretical how we perform the test testing after this structure simple we create the inbound delivery we create the purchase order we create the erp inbound delivery if already post processing framework is configured directly inbound delivery will be created and distributed to the ewn layer next point so here i perform this operation with the handling units next point create transportable unit and assign inbound delivery to the transportable unit the transaction code is forward slash n forward slash supply chain warehouse manual forward slash t this is a testing phase which i implemented in the system i tested and i then i uh, made this uh, my wrote my own book and i that's why i displaying and i'm creating this uh, video then after do check in then we perform the check in activity of the truck it will not come automatically we need to perform this activity through forward slash and forward slash supply chain warehouse manual forward slash cico check in check out ci kiko kiko means or we can say cico cico means check in check out because with the truck we need to perform the check in and check on board the activity when we receive the material from the supplier the truck the truck will come to first of our inbound gate of the yard then it will be if my warehouse building inbound gates are empty then it will go after checking the security check then the truck will go and dock to the inbound gate if the gates are not available guys okay then security guard will check everything we will number in model everything then security guard will send this truck to the inbound parking zone then when this gates are available then it's going to check in after checking it will perform the check out operations or suppose we have the loading operations this is a loading inbound side outbound side also that's why we can perform the outbound operation that's why here we have transaction code do check in forward slash n because here i'm using, using check in inbound process i i purchase some material from the supplier i need to perform it the inbound delivery then i, I will use the transaction code forward slash n supply chain warehouse management kiko cico so guys in my technical uh, documents technically books it's like this architecture is like more interested like how we do how we perform in the like uh, material flow systems technically side what is this function model is doing why we use and the so that's why this uh, this is the demo from my a1 level course the people and uh, the, the advanced level we will uh, go ahead with the integration parts some tools some kind of additional tools and with the technical so this is a purely functional ewm then we move transportable unit to parking space we need to do the movement the transaction code is forward slash n supply chain warehouse management why move so here system triggers the standard warehouse process type 9999 i copied from the 9999 to the custom one which is the by 999 or z999 then move transportable unit from parking space to door if suppose truck is waiting at the inbound parking zone then we need to send it to the uh, inbound side right inbound side like uh, of the warehouse to dock to perform the unloading activity to perform the inbound final put activity we use the 
ट्रांजेक्शन कोड फॉर स्लैश एंड सप्लाई चेन वेयर हाउस मैनेजमेंट वाई मूव इस सेम डब्ल्यू पी टी वाई नाइन 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 सुपर वेयर हाउस सुपरविजन स्टैंडर्ड वुड बी ट्रिगर्ड और इफ यू हैव कॉपी फ्रॉम द स्टैंडर्ड टू कस्टम विल बी ट्रिगर्ड मूव ट्रांसपोर्टेबल यूनिट फ्रॉम डोर टू चेक पॉइंट ओके देन वी नीड टू मूव द ट्रांसपोर्टेबल यूनिट फ्रॉम डोर टू द चेक पॉइंट पार्किंग स्पेस सेम वेयर हाउस प्रोसेस टाइप विल बी ट्रिगर चेक आउट द व्हीकल वी नीड टू परफॉर्म द चेक आउट फर्स्ट वी डिड द चेक इन की को देन आई नीड टू परफॉर्म द चेक आउट आफ्टर द अनलोडिंग एक्टिविटी आई यूज द ट्रांजेक्शन कोड फॉर स्लैश एन फॉर स्लैश अप्लाई चेन वेयर हाउस मैनेजमेंट फॉर स्लैश की को सेम चेक इन चेक आउट सो सो आई डिवाइडेड दिस माई बुक इन द डिफरेंट सेक्शन विद डिफरेंट एक्टिविटीज गैस सो फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल देन यार्ड मैनेजमेंट यू आर डिफरेंट so yard we receive the transportable unit and vehicle in the transportable we could be multiple deliveries okay example we have different different handling units and instead of so suppose we have a different kind of trucks so we can perform in the same yard boundary we can perform the different activities thank you very much guys and uh, uh this is about the demo for the yard management and uh, thank you keep in touch and i will update you more so this is the implementation phase of the complex warehouse management with the yard management processes real time thanks guys